yesterday you heard about creating curiosity in your speeches to keep audience attention and interest. Today let's talk about a powerful formula you can use that will not only keep audience interest but compel them to want to take action on your message. The formula is called then, now, and how. How do people typically tell their stories? They'll go in some kind of chronological order. They'll talk about how they were in some situation, took a new action, and then their lives got better. There's nothing wrong with that order of information. The challenge is it doesn't create curiosity. For example, early in my speaking career, I would tell a story about being on a desk in first grade and how that really embarrassed and humiliated me. And for about 25 years, it kept me from standing in front of people and speaking. I then talked about joining Toastmasters and how I learned that speaking is a learned skill and I learned how to manage my emotions. And today I'm a much better speaker and I get better results. And that's all right. But now I tell it in a different order. I talk about being in first grade and standing on that desk, feeling humiliated and for 25 years not taking action. Then I jump to today. I say, now I'm able to stand in front of an audience and confidently share a clear and concise message that not only entertains them, but inspires them to take action. There's a big jump and a big change, and that creates the question in the minds of the audience of, how? How did you do that, Mike? How did you go from being so scared that you didn't speak for 25 years to standing today in front of audiences confidently sharing those messages that get them to take action? That's what I want. I'm a speaker, and I want to do that too. They're set up, they're curious, they want to know the how. And I can then, depending on the type of speech it is, I can touch upon the process, or if it's a training workshop, I go right into the details of how I learned to do that. That simple change of order can create curiosity. It's a powerful tool, especially in sales, to create that desire in people to want to hear more, more importantly, maybe buy your product or service. Try then, now, and how, and see how it impacts your audience reaction. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.